Welcome to G2G Livestream with lead pastors Harold and Atoya Alloway, who are helping us to live a progressional lifestyle with no limits. We at G2G Ministries receive the word, believe the word, and manifest the word. Join us as we listen to this life-changing word that will soon impact your life. Like and share this message and get ready for God's elevation to upgrade your life as the service is now in progress. See you tonight. Good to see you tonight. Come on. Say it's good to see you tonight. Good to see you tonight. Good to see you tonight. In the name of the Lord. Good to see you tonight. Good to see you tonight. Good to see you tonight. Come on. Say good to see you tonight. First Bible study of the year. Good to see you tonight. Good to see you in the house of the Lord tonight. Come on. Say good to see you in the house of the Lord tonight. Come on. Now can we put a praise and give God a first praise right there. Come on, open up your vocal cords and release a power in this room tonight. Come on, set this room on fire with a Holy Ghost praise tonight. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, 30 seconds straight. Come on, clap your hands and give God the praise tonight. I said clap your hands and give God the praise tonight. El Shaddai, Elohim. Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi. Come on, lift him up tonight. On our first Thursday, we give God the praise. Come on, we're setting a trend for the rest of the year. Ain't no rock gonna cry out for me, but I got a praise huh, deep in my womb tonight. Huh. Now, if that's you, open up your mouth huh, and let's shabak him tonight. I said, let's shabak him tonight. I said, let's shabak him tonight. Come on, say, just high five somebody. Just smile a little bit. Say, you look good. Come on, prophesy. Say, you look good tonight. You look like God got some up his sleeve for you. Come on. And tonight we honor you. Social media, God bless you. Is it me or is it a little toasty in there? Amen. Yeah, all right, I know I ain't tripping. Amen. I ain't know that was the Holy Ghost of the heat. Praise the Lord. Amen, but it may be both. Amen. Let's give God praise tonight. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so, I don't know if you don't know where that button is. We can cool it down, everybody. Come on. Amen. Uh, amen to that. Now, I'm thankful we got heat, but uh, amen, but it's a little toasty. Amen. We're going to have to baptize today. Cool y'all off. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So let me just get some of these announcements out the way. Go ahead, daughter. Quick question. We're excited about this upcoming Sunday. I think it's on there. It should be. Uh, oh, well. All right. I'll do this one first. Can we go to pr Prophetic Push? Let's do that one first. And then there we go. So we're excited today. I hope you're all right. <laughs> and I hope um, uh, uh, that many of you got some clarity over this over this last week and this this week will uh be powerful god got some special so we're excited for that have people connected i've had a lot of people in the community that were tremendously blessed and um and they were like man that helped me pastor to see uh from a whole another dimension then let's go to birthing chamber that also that that's going to was this good y'all so that's going to be well and just i just want to say this so that you'll know that we uh, that that if I ask you to sing or dance, you have to dance prophetically, because I had to cut the video and we didn't know it, but we had to cut the video because there's rights and they will flag your stuff and they flag their video. So if you're going to dance, if you're going to sing, if you're going to play an instrument, if you're going to rap, you're going to have to do it prophetically. If you can't do it, it's okay. But you have to, and that's why I set up like that. So that was me catching, and uh, to catch it like that. But but they're on that stuff now, y'all. And y'all probably like, what? Yeah, they own our stuff. They don't play about their music. Matter of fact, they flag Pastor Toy music, and she the owner of it. Yeah, they will do that. See, that's a part that you got to understand. So um, if you're going to uh, mime, if you want to come with your face red, white, and blue, when I pull you up there, you're going to have to do it without a song. If you're going to anything. It's, we're prophetic. This next is going to be all prophetic. So you're just going to have to tap in. And, and, and Pastor, I ain't never done it. That's why you're up under this house to pull you so that you can do it before. Amen. 
but everybody did phenomenally well, but I wanted to say that so you can understand that. Um, also go to the, so I know I was going to do baptism, go ahead daughter, um, but things are changed. I don't like rushing things like this, so we're not going to baptize this Sunday. I can't because I don't have enough time. Um, I think y'all, I, I can't preach to y'all, uh, teach a baptism class and then come back. I, 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 I'm not him. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to let y'all do that to me. So I've made an a, a, uh, executive decision. Now, I know we anointed that water and oil. Mama D is still trembling now. Hey! It's still trembling, Mama D. <laughs> but what we're going to do is this Sunday we'll have a date. And it'll probably be like two weeks out. That way you can invite your friend and we'll go right after service, right upstairs. But I need to teach a class. I, 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 if you always know about this, both pastors, we never want you to do something without having biblical truth of reference to it. I don't operate like that and I don't want some of y'all to get baptized and be like, ooh, I got baptized, but you had no clue what happened. Uh, and we can't assume that everyone knows, right? So I, we just thought about my wife and I said, eh, we might want to pull that train back. Now I did want to dip. I was ready to dip, uh, dip, but I, I, I <laughs> it was coming, Troy. Woo! But uh, I said I can't dip without no understanding because you'll dip and fall. Amen. Hey, that's why I said under. Amen. I should be able to stand on something. That's why I got to teach you. Amen. So this Sunday, we'll give a correct date. Now, it won't be down in March, April, May, June, July. It's going to be in a couple weeks where you can be able to do it. And I'll contact the people. So for some, and then we'll offer. So some of y'all wasn't there. If you want to get baptized, I, this might be a moment. Oh, invite your family, all that kind of stuff. So we ain't going we we to tell y'all this Sunday. And it'll be next Sunday. We're going to give y'all a couple weeks to invite your family. Amen. But tell them to come to church, though. Don't just come to your, your, your little, amen. Yeah, amen. Right? <laughs> and then we'll go right upstairs, um, and we'll go over more of that. And then I'll share more this Sunday on, on a class that we have to teach. I just need, I just got to make sure that you know what you're doing. I've had so many people get baptized and do not know what they were doing. And then they can't explain it well. And uh, then you're confusing unbelievers. And I just... I don't want you to be confused with all of that. Amen. So we just did executive. Y'all cool with that? Y'all all right? I know y'all was ready, though. Some of y'all went and bought some swimming shoes. Y'all was ready. Dip me, Reverend. Dip me. And we was going to dip you. I promise you we would. Right by y'all time. Yeah, we're going to lay you down. And, amen. Yeah, lay there. Right but no, I want to make sure you're good. And it's going to be good. So it'll be right after service, right upstairs. Amen. That's all right, family. All right, can we give God praise for that? And come on. Well, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, tonight we honor you for your goodness, honor you for your faithfulness and who you are. You are that good. And on this first Thursday night Bible study, we exalt you. We magnify you. We put the spotlight on you tonight. And Father, we're asking that the rest of the year, the mind of the creator, the mind of the future, and the mind of an understanding God will be released. Lord, whoever touched this poop here, let the anointing of truth be on them strong this year. I pray tonight that our eyes will be open. I pray our revelation be understood. And I pray tonight that you will pour out your spirit. Lord, Lord, tonight on this particular subject, I need your anointing tonight. I, I said I need your power tonight. Come on, for 30 seconds. Do anybody got a praise with us tonight? <laughs> Ain't nobody got a pump and pie me. I got a high praise. Yes, Lord. I said I got a high praise tonight. And Father, we honor you tonight in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. If you are a part, you want to start the year off in Bible study. Now, if you got to work, but if you ain't got to work, you should be here. How you start will how you end. Start well. Start in the house of the Lord. Start tithing. Start being a good disciplined leader. Don't wait to don't wait to June and say, look at June. I'm shooting dice. You ain't doing that. Be very well. Start well. Start well. I said start well. Amen. Start well. Don't, don't do that.
Be, you know, have some goals set in January. I'm going to do it. Have some stuff set, and we're going to be talking about that. But, but we, so just thank y'all tonight. Well, let's, you can be seated. I'm going to ask you to get your notepads and, um, woo, you might, if y'all didn't get them study notes, you're going to probably need two of them tonight. <laughs> Amen to the Holy Ghost. That is our friend. Amen. Y'all see that title? Go on and get them notes ready. Yeah. Now, for y'all, Amen. Amen. Now, amen. Make sure they get them on the way in. Amen. That's why we're changing the room. We got to go back this way. Yeah, yeah we got to make sure you get your notepad. Be ready. You're going you're gonna to need two of them. I'll grab two of them if I was you. <laughs> they good. Anybody got one? They're going to pass them out. Y'all all got it? Good. All right, daughter. This is a little more because uh, I want you to sit down and take some good notes. So even Jesus can almost love you. Praise the Lord. He loves us all. Amen. That's a joke. Amen. Come on. Y'all ready? Yeah, you ready? Kyle, you ready? Y'all ready? Yeah. Who, who the loudest crowd? Y'all ready? Yeah. Uh, dang, Troy's beat y'all. <laughs> Yo, Troy's beat you by yourself. Y'all just ready? Yeah. I don't know, Troy. They got you. I'm just finished. <laughs> well, let's go tonight. So tonight... I'm going to teach on a very controversial uh, topic, and this, to be honest, was down the line. I said, Lord, let me move this on up like the Jeffersons, and because um, some stuff happened. So tonight, we're going to teach a very social media hit, share, controversial uh, topic in the Christian world today. And in some circles, they believe in this gift. Other circles don't. I want you to, all right, go ahead, take time. Yeah, you're going to write a lot of notes today. Hey, Mama D, you know, every time you say that, I'm going to do a Mama D. Say, Mama, say it again, Mama D. Hey, Amen. Well, I can take my time. Y'all got a problem? Fight with the mother of the church. Praise the Lord. Hey, Amen. Mama D, they ain't going to mess with you. Uh, y'all ready? <laughs> so this misunderstanding of this gift has caused separation in churches. This is crazy how some people don't believe and they think you're going to hell. Uh, I'm going to bring a, a global uh, thought process to you tonight. Also, um, many approach it from an emotional view. All right, today's teaching, I'm going to kind of offer you a view of this gift, and I pray it opens up your eyes to truth. Um, and I think we can be all right. I personally, to be honest with y'all, probably can teach Taylor on this gift probably for about five or six months, just as one gift. That's how much I have to unlearn you today. And to learn you today. So you're going to detox. And when you detox, you hurt. So I'm going to say some stuff in this one. Uh, you're going to be hurting. <laughs> All right. But I think we're going to get through it. And today, I want to kind of set a biblical approach standpoint. I want to approach this social media not from culture. Because you know culture taught us about tongues. And <laughs> I don't want to turn you from emotionalism. About to be deep in these sanctified treats. And I don't want to teach you from an in, watch this, immature position. Right? You want to take real good notes. Somebody shout, real good notes. Real good notes. All right, so give me a couple people. Raise your hand if you are a believer. Okay, amen. Good stuff. Uh, now, what's your perspective on tongues? Somebody real quick, you just, what, what you have learned, what, what you know, uh, what you don't know, I don't know, just what, what is your perspective on the gift of tongues? <laughs> they like, go ahead, sister, they like, I don't know. It's a prayer language to God. Gotcha. Prayer language who, y'all? God. Thank you, sister Terry. Come on, anybody else? Cause I, I hope we ain't been doing nothing that don't know what you've been doing, but that ain't nothing, that, that's nine out of ten believers. Right? Come on, daughter. Um, it's, it's a gift, not a requirement for salvation. Now, see, that's, I can tell she go through a theology type of church. That was a very doctrinal answer. Say it again so that those all the way in Afghanistan can hear you. Come on. It is a gift, not a requirement for salvation. Now, she'll get beat up in other churches if she said that. Because we think it is a requirement of salvation. 
And that's why I said there's a lot of issues in churches right there, Dana, because we believe you don't speak in tongues. I don't speak in tongues. I'm going to hell. You're going to hell. And it has nothing to do with the requirement of salvation. You are saved by grace through you not saved and how deep your tongues is. See that devil that we've been walking in? So some of y'all going to get free today because that early church taught you if you ain't speaking tongues, you ain't saved. That's unbiblical, uncharted. That's not the will of God. That is not, watch this, God deep theology. You're going to get a lot today. I told you all the time, you ain't got to pay cornerstone. You're going to learn it at your church tonight. And Mama D said, I said, Mama D, I'm going to say, Mama D said, I can take my time. Amen. Choice, I heard your choice said right there, so I can take my time. What other perspective? Which they said two powerful things. What else, y'all? Come on now, y'all have been around tongues your life now. Don't get deep when you get in. You've been around the whole life. Don't, don't fake it out now. Come on, dog. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, one of the things that I got attacked about was that I'm not truly filled with the Holy Spirit. Because I don't know. Mm. That's a lie. <laughs> See, Pastor, she, go ahead. You want to preach? Amen, because you can preach this stuff. She can preach your eyes closed. She said, that's a lie. That thing sound like Murray. <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> Show me daughter. Did it sound like Murray? The spirit of Murray on here prophet. She said, that's a lie. Amen. <laughs> That was good right there, y'all. So um, I'm with my wife. That is a lie. lie. I, I didn't know um, he half feel you. Like a seven. I didn't know he shake you. I didn't, I didn't know that. You know, I'm going to pause this because some of y'all still believe you can catch the Holy Ghost. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm for the, ooh, that's why it was three parts. It's going to be too much. Some of y'all still sitting like he throwing up. He ain't throwing no pass to you. And church folks, religion has made us feel inadequate about our relationship only because they didn't know the truth so they couldn't share the truth. Now, many people stay away from this because people leave their church when you treat it correctly. This is a heavy time. Give me a couple more. Y'all saying some great answers. Good stuff. Anybody else want to add? Um, what is y'all perspective? What they told you? Uh, what they lie? I don't know. What, what did, did they bring you in the back room and tell you to say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus until you got filled and you said la rabo and you were speaking Spanish only because you was ready to go and eat tacos. Amen. Praise the Lord. You got some more? <laughs> right? <laughs> y'all do know that happened though. Okay. You got another one, daughter? Come on. Oh, it happened to you? What they tell y'all? That's real. Yeah. See, see that? Now, ain't nothing wrong with saying Jesus, 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 Jesus. But there's nowhere biblically that they said Jesus, 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 Jesus. I said Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. So now we have uh-oh, an experience what our theology background, and that's why it's an experience, and it's not an encounter. And that's why you've been doing something, not seeing the benefits of it. Because you've been doing it from an experience and not from biblical truth. Anybody else? Jesus, Jesus. Did they say the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost? Did they say angel, our angel? Did they say Gary? I don't know what they told y'all. They, anybody else? Come on, y'all. Anybody? Come on, Deacon Mike. You've been saved like Moses. So I know they probably told you. If you ain't jump on the top, you probably ain't say what they tell you, D. They told me that I had to mimic their tongues to receive the uh, gift of tongues. Wow. This, I know y'all not, this, this is the world. Now they tell this man, he's Moses. <laughs> that Moses got to mimic them. This is him, Moses. Red Sea Moses, Mike. And they tell D. You got to what? So now my whole focus states is to mimic, watch this, in correction. So if I mimic you and you wrong, then Terry, I'm going to be wrong just by mimicking you. Nowhere in the Bible did there anybody tell you to mimic Paul. 
mimic David. Mim am I correct? I, we just open it up so you can see the craziness behind this. So I'm taking a dab at it one time because don't nobody want to teach you on this. It's a little, it can get controversial. Anybody else? What else they say about y'all about y'all tongues? Amen. Anybody else? <laughs> y'all ain't got to say the pastor name. Just, just tell me what happened. I don't want to know all that. <laughs> You're cool. We we don't do that. We we cover. What else? What else they tell you? The Holy Ghost, they got a still small voice? <laughs> Make me feel like it got to be what, y'all? So we think loudness is anointing. And if I ain't loud, then I'm not a... I mean, one time we was at a prayer gathering. This particular lady was praying. And the, and the more the preachers came around, the louder she got. I said, now, when we was over there, you were quiet, Lord. About y'all that about. So we can order. I said, that, that don't change. Watch this. Loudness don't make a devil scared. Authority do. And sometimes authority is a badge. Do a badge talk? A badge is silence. I'm teaching already to help you tonight. Anybody else? Come on. We dive. I know, Mama D. You gave me permission. Yes, daughter. I think this, y'all scared. Y'all ain't going to tell on your preacher. It's okay. Amen. Come on. I've heard that. Who else heard that before? You feel, ooh, you can speak it in them tongues. Well, I don't know what you're saying. Mm-mm, that's that devil stuff. <laughs> I've heard that too. I've heard a lot. <laughs> anybody, anybody else heard something? Give me a couple of things. Come on, y'all. Stay like, I don't know, Pat. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Pastor, help your church out. What you heard? She the older Moses, so we got two Moses. All right, Deacon Mike. What, what you heard, baby? Cop. That crazy. Ain't that deep? Come on, y'all. Because I promise you, when we, <laughs> your mind got to keep up. So I'm just, anything else? We'll deal with that. You can go that far. Right. You're good. That ain't, I want the question today is be is what they told you about your tongues that you scared to do it because they robbed you of your encounter. And each religion, hear me now, will lock you in a straight jack of, of experiences. And that's why, even this past Sunday, it took y'all a little bit to get to the level we was already there. Because some of y'all thought I was going to come pump you and prime you. I wasn't. And if you don't come this Sunday, we're going to walk out and dab out and go home. Because I don't want you locked up in an experience. That's not God. Come on, give me a couple more. This side, come on, y'all holy, righteous. Now, come on, now. Give me some. This side and answer all of them. Come on. Oh, y'all ain't hope. Come on. See, right there. Same thing, daughters? Now, that's the worst thing for me to be a part of a something, to see it, but I do not know what they're doing. Now, daughter, is it because of the religion you were in they never taught that? Gotcha. So they kind of just, and it's nothing wrong. They shut down that part of the expression of God. Right? Right? And even though it's in the Bible, let me help y'all tonight. If it's ta taught correctly, it, you can misinterpret. That's why there's three parts to this, not one. I want you to get it tonight. Give me a couple more. So, they, so Connie, God, they ain't never teach you this. Never taught. Amen. Anybody else? Come on, daughter. Like, hand up. Come on. Absolutely. They, is it made a mock? Oh, watch that world. They'll, they'll clown you. They'll clown you with them tongues, boy. And, um, yeah, it's, um, it's a lot of controversial things going on in the world, the church today. Yes, Mama D. Uh-oh, she coming with that deep, that deep, deep. Come on, Mama D. What they told you, boo? All these years. That is some 
Troy said, Troy said, wow. That is, see that bondage? Tell it. So if I, one, two, three, four, five, I can't speak the language. No biblical reference. But because, now I'm, hear me when I say this from a global place. Because the church is ignorant. And because the pew is ignorant, it does not force the pulpit to be smarter. Wow. But hear me tonight. It's the first Bible study. We coming out the gate, gun shooting. Don't play with it tonight. Hear me. So if, if, if I, can stay, I can stay in my little knowledge because you never going to go learn yourself. So the church is called the church of Berah. They will go home and study the scriptures when Paul and them will teach. Because Paul and them was raising up students, not culture Christians. And this type of ministry, my wife and I always talk about it. We catch ourselves sometimes, Jennifer, daughter, have to fix a lot of theology when new members come to our church. It's not a bad thing, but it just sometimes the pastor just don't understand. They didn't they didn't go to school. They didn't study. So all they can give you at the level that they have. And that's why when some people come here, they come and they drown because they thought it was shallow water until you touched it and you discovered what I thought I knew. I really didn't know. That's why we've been told by women that's old enough to be my mama. Before I came to the church, I had to ask myself. Old lady told your pastor, Mama D. She said, Pastor, we're teaching on the Holy Ghost. She said, I had to question my own self. I had to question if I had the Holy Ghost. Now, this is my own to be by mama in here. Several people. Give me one more thing. Y'all, anybody else? Good stuff. Good stuff. Come on, daughter. Good stuff, y'all. Good stuff, baby. That, what, what do you mean to correct? I mean, I know what you mean, but I want all them. What, they, what do you mean by that? Um, that cray cray. Boom. Yeah. When I was younger, they shut it down, and there was no Boom. Yeah. Wow. So they shut it down. <laughs> all right. Um, y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all got any more? It, any more lies we've been told? Y'all good? I think y'all like, uh, dang. See how, see, how, see, how, see how we bound up, y'all, from religion? So tonight, um, <laughs> we're going to do gift of the tongue, and then we're going to talk about this. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 8. Got a lot of scriptures because whenever you're dealing with theology or doctrine, it's always good to build upon solid teaching. It's hard to build doctrine out of one slice of the pie. So tonight I'm going to give you a lot of scriptures so that you can fully understand this part of the gift of tongues. Do you hear me tonight? Social media, get a pen in the pad. No, you're like, Rev, I'm going to come back. Uh, you ain't going to be able to come back. You're going to have to really, really uh, get this tonight. So um, I'm not sure that's the right scripture. Okay, uh, let me go to it. Uh, go to the next one. Let me see if this is. It might just, that might be Pastor Paul. Uh, I need my phone real quick, real quick. Moochie, Moochie, give my phone real quick. Give my phone real quick. Move fast and move quick. Thank you, baby. Praise the Lord. Him and home high. Amen. I'll give it right back, baby. All right? Daddy's got to preach a little bit. Amen? Sorry, y'all. It's all right. We're going to get it right. And, and I want you to get this tonight, so that might have been... Uh, so let's go to, um, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, my bad, y'all know I'm great, great, amen, so, um, let's go right here, y'all, it's 1 Corinthians, um, let me just hurry up, this is what I'm going to do. So this is what it is. So this, I got to hurry up. I ain't got that much time. This particular scripture talks about in the New King James Version, it says that tongues will cease. Right? It says tongues will cease. It says prophecy will quit. So people misinterpret that when the early church came, Brother Jay, tongues had stopped. Well, then if tongues stop, then prophecy got to stop too. Now, in that same scripture, it says knowledge stops. So if prophecy stopped, tongues stopped, then information should stop too. 
right? So some people take that particular scripture and run with it incorrectly. Also in the TPT version, it says that tongues one day will remain silent, far silent. So people assume that, that because the early church had came, the book of Acts has came, that the gift of tongues has silent. And some people don't go on a deeper study, Carl. They take it right there and they run with it. But if that's the case, Carl son and Troy son, if that have stopped, then prophecy and all kind of other stuff has stopped too. Like that when people said we get to the gift of the apostle. I can't wait that. Now in the message Bible, it said very clearly, y'all, that the gift of tongues will end. Now when it get to it, it says it will end. The only way it will end is when Jesus returns. Because how are you going to speak unto God when God is in front of you? How are you going to prophesy to God and God is right there? How are you going to share information when information is right there. there? So the right proper context is to Shami daughter is that when the completion or when Jesus comes and complete things, finally complete things, then we won't need tongues. Why would you need tongues? And he's right there. Right, right. So people understand that. So I want you to hear this tonight. Tongues is one of the greatest gifts that is fate. You come get the phone, won't you, baby? It is one of the greatest gifts that is what, y'all? Fate. We all heard it. You can fake tongues. Now, tell the truth. Have you ever faked it? Don't lie. Turn. Close your eyes. Don't. <laughs> right? It's all right. And some of y'all faked it to get out that hot room. Am I right, family? <laughs> you, real choice. Let me go in. It's too hot in here, Reverend. No, no, but you faked that thing. Oh, he got it. He got it. No, he did not. And that scripture is 1 Corinthians 13 and 8, so that's Pastor's fault. 13 and 8, when you go study it. All right, y'all. So also, um, here goes the misconception. This is the greatest gift of the greatest manifestation of the Spirit. If you don't speak in tongues, you don't got the Spirit of God. Come on, won't you have it, baby? You good. Thank you, baby. Right? You hear that, family? Right? That's a mis- what, y'all? Conception. Misconception, which means I am I am missed. There, there's a misinformation with my conception. And when there's a misconception, then what the enemy does, prophet, he throws information in your misconception and make you stay misconception. <laughs> also, we ain't even got started. Here go the big one. This is the number one gift when somebody is filled with the spirit of God. So we go around telling you, why, get baptized, feel the Holy Ghost, and the evidence is speaking in tongues. And that's correct, but it's not correct to the entirety of the scripture. Also, let's be real, tongues breed confusion. So I stay out of it because God's not the author of. So I don't even speak it because I don't want to be a part of any confusion. Right? <laughs> now y'all all have been in church before when somebody spoke in tongues and you like, I'm confused. We're going to be honest tonight. <laughs> All right, y'all. So what I want to do is I want to elaborate on many different perspectives on this particular subject. As I stated, I can teach a couple months. And today what I want to do is I want to give you uh, not too much, not too little, just enough for clarity. Is that cool? Amen. And I'm almost guarantee you're going to have some questions. So um, let's look at the description. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10. And uh, let's go to here if we could. Come on. Another, the working of miracles, mm-hmm. to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, yeah. to another different kinds of tongues, yeah. to another the interpretation of tongues. It said different kinds. K- kinds got an S on it. Yeah. Come on, y'all ready, class? Yes. Kinds, and it says tongue, not t- t- tongues with a, with an a with a. Yes. So that that mean kinds is plural, and tongues is plural. But there can be different kinds. You can't use the word different and then leave kind as kind. <laughs> if I'm going to say different, then kinds have to follow. Tongues have to follow because it goes with the right verbiage, Jordan, of different. When I say you got a different type of haircut, a different type of this, that means you got different kinds of things. So there's different kinds of tongues. <laughs> NIV says it. Go ahead if we could, daughter. To another miraculous powers, yeah. to another prophecy, 
to another distinguishing between spirits, to another speaking in different kinds of tongues, and still to another the interpretation right. of tongues. It's, this one says speaking, speaking in different kinds, S, tongues, what? S, right, family? All right, good. Uh, let's go to another translation. GNT, watch what it says, family. The Spirit gives one person the power to work miracles. Yes. To another, the gift of speaking God's message. And to yet another, the ability to tell the difference <laughs> between gifts that can come from the Spirit and to those that do not. Mm. To one person, he gives the ability to speak to speak in strange tongues, mm -hmm. and to another, he gives the ability to explain what is said. Now he says strange. It's some strange stuff. But it, it got to keep the same wordplay. Strange with a, which means there's many different dimensions of tongues. Y'all ready tonight? Hope you're going to pay attention. And if you're a leader there, please pay attention to what I'm teaching. I see some of y'all being preoccupied. Please pay attention tonight. Strange tongues. Do you hear what I'm telling you? God's word tonight. I want, I want your mind to be with me. Don't get, don't get off track tonight. God's word. Next one, please. Another can work miracles. Another mm -hmm. can speak what God has revealed. Another can tell the difference between spirits. Mm. Another can speak in different kinds of languages. Uh-oh. Another can interpret languages. So the word tongue in this translation is language. Mm. We're going to walk social media. Different kinds, they go that word kinds, of language. So there's multiple languages that can be an expression. That's why you cannot mimic people. Because you don't step into the different kinds of languages. Does it make sense, Shamley? Yes. So if I mimic you, everybody mimic each other. Then we lock ourselves in the kind of language and we don't fulfill the kinds of language. All right, TLB, y'all ready? Y'all good class tonight. Come on, baby, watch he this. He gives power for doing miracles to some yes. and to others power to prophesy and preach. He gives someone else the power to know whether evil spirits are speaking through those who claim to be giving God's message or whether it is really the spirit of God who is speaking. Still another person is able to speak in languages he never learned and others who do not know the language either are given power to understand what he is saying. This one says speaking a language, a language that he's never I never learned it. But if you telling me to copy you, what have you learned incorrectly? Then my tongues going to follow your tongues and we two crazy people that don't understand it. It says language you have never learned. So if I get stuck in tongues and don't understand tongue from language, I can miss a great gift of learning a language that you did not know. Still another person is able to speak in languages he has never, Learn. not learning, learned. Mm. So your past, watch this, inability to learn can forfeit the expression fully of the Holy Ghost. How you learn is how you flow. How you learn, learn watch this, because there ain't no way you can learn well and don't have language well. Because learning should be the support cast of correct language. Go to another country, Troy, and we don't learn the language. We got to learn in order to learn their language. So whenever you go to another country, it's important to learn the language of the country. Did the Bible call it the kingdom? The kingdom is a not a, just a religious place. The word kingdom is what, y'all? A, a country. Look it up today. The word kingdom is a country. So I'm going to teach you about God's language in his country so that you can get the full benefit that goes with the country. Y'all good? All right. So we're going to look at the gift of tongues from four perspectives. 
Today, we're going to look at it from signs. <laughs> Next week, we're going to look at it, which is going to be good. Public and private tongues. Third week, we're going to look at tongues from interpretation of. But I couldn't drop all this on you, so we're going to do part one tonight. Right. And we're going to, I want to look from the gift of tongues from the lenses of science. Right. You ready? Yeah. Now, that word kinds in the Greek is the word G-E-N-O-S. G-E-N-O-S. It means a family or a group of things. Remember it said kinds, right, family? Mm -hmm. Right? That is the Greek word. It means a family <clears throat> or a group of things. Now, in the Hebrew, that word tongues means lason, which is L-A-S-O-N. That is tongues by an extension. <laughs> that is, Taylor, language. That is speech. They told you you're going to need two notepads a day. <laughs> Y'all could? It also means, here goes the powerful part, noise. <laughs> That's the Hebrew word. Now, the Greek word for tongues, Acts chapter 2, verse 3. If it's in there, daughter, I believe it is, baby. Acts chapter 2. Come on, help me out, Shami, daughter. Watch this now. Then they saw what looked like tongues of fire, which spread out and touched each person there. All right, tongues of what? Fire. Now that word tongues right here in the Greek means glossa, G-L-O-S-S-A. This is the Greek information. Sometimes you got to understand the original text to get the full benefit of the scripture. That it means, watch this now, it means tongues of fire appeared above the apostle head this is deep and sometimes it refers net to the supernatural gift of speaking in another language without it being learned it ain't even talking about language unto god wow. it's talking about language that you never learned yeah. wow. <laughs> Doo -doo. i know mama d that's why i'm gonna get done so i got a lot of questions this is one of them amen they saw what looked like tongues of fire, fire mm. which spread it out and touched each person. And we're going we gonna to dissect that. Another Greek word is, y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Dilatos, D-I-A-L-E-K-T-O-S. -L -L -E I'll say it again. D-I-A-L-E-K-T-O-S. This Greek word, right, Jordan, I mean, refers to another language or a dialect. <laughs> yeah, that's so how you got to learn the original language. Y'all got that? Yes. Another Greek word for tongues is heteroglossias. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all like, Pastor, come on with these Greek words, brother. <laughs> I got y'all, Troy. I felt the room like, ah. All right, brother. <laughs> Y'all so funny. I love y'all. Heteroglossia. Y'all cool? Let me spell it out. <laughs> I love Mama D. H-E-T-E-R-O-G-L-O-S-S-O-S. -S. I'm going to read it again. Carl, I saw your look. Like, please, you said before I got done, spell it again, Dad. I will. <laughs> H-E-T. E R O G L O W -S, S O S. This is deep because let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and 21. Watch y'all. Right? Y'all, we still in Greek, correct? Yes. All right, come on, daughter. In the law, it is written <laughs> with men of other tongues and other <clears throat> lips, I will speak to these people. This people, yes, and yet for all that they will not hear me, says the Lord. All right, right here is that word heteroglossius. If we could, let's open up that door, y'all. Feel like some of y'all want y'all fall out and amen. Praise the Lord. Open up that door for somebody. La boku basi. That's our real tongues. I mean, I normally come in five. We need some cold weather. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's that real tongue. They ain't teach y'all about in the sanctified church. All right, let's go. Yeah, we still gotta go to school. We got a lot to learn to do. <laughs> 
Right here in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, 21, thank you, Dar. It's speaking of a foreign language. It refers to with man with other tongues. Not tongue, other tongue. Um, ain't there some other languages that you don't know? Who know two languages in here? Raise your hand. Who know three? A little bit? All right. A little bit? All right, we're going to do a clap. We got to learn some languages. How are we going to go to the country? Yeah. They're going to go over there and take all your money. You're going to be talking about give all. They're going to be like, get all, get all. You don't give all your little money up. Uh-uh. You better learn some languages. Money. How much is this over here? Yeah. Nah, I got to get mine. Y'all Y'all, but, y'all catch it. We go over and do, do mission trips. They're going to be like, Reverend, give it all to you, and you're going to go pay for it. When he say, I really blessed you. You better catch what I'm saying. Amen. <laughs> it refers to a foreign language. This one says... In the law, it was written with men of other tongues, other languages, other foreign languages. Mm. All right, TLB translation. Are y'all kidding some? And we ain't even got to the good part, y'all. We, we all right. Come on. Go ahead, daughter. We are told in the ancient scriptures that yeah. God will send men from other lands to speak in foreign languages to his people. But even then, they would not listen. He will s- speak foreign so when you go over to another country, their language is foreign to you. Yeah. 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 And we lock ourselves into our language. We don't get the benefit that comes with their language. So what happens if you go to another country and they tell you, watch this, that hello means something different in that country. So you go say hello, and hello will say I don't like you. And you think you say hello and they say you don't like me for what? Because of misinterpretation of the passing of. Maybe we've been saying that to heaven and heaven said, I ain't say that. You misinterpreted what I said. Uh, We're about to get deep. Now, it's important that in some translations um, that you see the word unknown tongue. Who's ever heard speaking an unknown tongue? Raise your hand. Some of y'all know this. That the word unknown is not in the original Greek manuscript. It has been added at some level by translators to try to be clear to you. And that wasn't a good word to use. So if you got a concordance at home, you can go look for the word unknown tongue. You will not find it. And we've been saying it in African-American church. Just speaking your unknown. (laughs) And the word really should be other tongue. Not unknown. See how long we've been in catch? How long has somebody taught y'all that? Let's be real. Years. Ten years. Who taught y'all that? You like, man, unknown tongue. Unknown tongue. And, right, right, choice? And, and Fred Terry, but we, we've been saying it, but it ain't even in the original context. And we just went with something because it's well. All right, what's the definition of tongues? <clears throat> the special ability that God gives a certain members of the body of Christ to speak to God in a language they have never learned. We're going to deal with this probably again next couple of weeks. Watch this. Or to receive and communicate an immediate message from God to his people through a supernatural language. Which means God will breathe on your language to get something across. I'm about to show you something today. And we're going to deal with this definition down the line. So it's a special ability in social media that God gives to certain members of the body of Christ to speak to God in a language, but today we're talking about a sign, not language unto God. We'll deal with that, all right? All right. Remember, tongue sometimes means language. I want you to understand that when you're studying, sometimes you see the word tongue is really the word language. So when you see the word tongue, you instantly think about tongues on your tongue and say the language that should come from your tongue. So sometimes the church, Sherry, has focused too much on the tongue and not what rolls off the tongue. That's called language. Y'all getting it tonight? All right, Deuteronomy 28, verse 49. Watch this, y'all. I want to I show you something, how God did things by language. And we ain't even talking about tongues unto God yet. We're just talking about tongues as a sign. It's about to get deep. Uh, go the ahead. Lord will bring a nation against you for, from far away, from the ends of the earth, like an eagle swooping down. A nation whose language you will not understand. Catch this, Jordan. This is so deep, son. Back in the Old Testament, God would raise up prophets. And the prophets, Terry, the prophets, Erica, would go to the children of Israel and give them a prophetic word in their language. 
But because they were stiff necked, they kept forcing the language to be changed. Watch this. I want you to really hear this. This is very pivotal for your theology today that you understand what I'm telling you. So they will go, Pastor Tori, they will teach the people and they will give them a word in their language. So what God would do is he said, I will raise up a nation. Watch this. Have the nation take the children of Israel captive and they would do it in a language that was opposite of Israel. That was a sign of judgment. Wow. I'm about to help you and I'm going too fast. I got to speed this Cadillac with doves now. So you see this, then we will bring a nation against you. Yeah. He said, I'm going to bring in a nation against you from the ends of the earth like an eagle swooping now a nation whose language you have never understood. So that's why you got to understand very clear. We're going to get to this, y'all, is that when God allowed another nation to capture the children of Israel and watch this, y'all, and, and shift the language, Jordan Taylor, it was a sign to the children of Israel that it's not a blessing coming, but it's judgment coming. It has nothing to do with the tongues unto God. That's why there's levels of different kinds of. Y'all like, what the heck they done taught me? Now, some of y'all got BB guns, some of y'all got real guns. But don't shoot. Amen? Amen. Isaiah, we, we work, Deuteronomy is Old Testament, correct? Yeah. Let's go to old before we go new. Stop by prophet Isaiah. Look what he says, family. Come on. Very well then. With foreign lips and strange tongues, God will speak to this people, to whom he said, this is the resting place. Mm. Let the weary rest. And this is the place of repose, but they will not listen. All right. Boom. Foreign lips, strange tongues, God will speak to his what? So God speak to his people by language. Yeah. See, we think tongues, so we instantly think tongues. So Terry says something which is right. Tongues unto God. This tongues is tongues talking to people. It's language. <laughs> Verse 12, if we got it on there, God bless you. Is it on the door? <laughs> Next one. My girl, go ahead. If you won't listen you. to me, then God will use foreigners speaking some strange sounding language to teach you a listen. lesson. Wow. He offered rest and comfort to all of you. But you refuse to listen to him. If you don't want to listen to me, children of Israel, God will use foreign speaking, some trying to sound languages to teach you a lesson. So he will interrupt language to teach you some things. You think teaching only come by teaching. Teaching come by the shifting of languages. See, in the modern day world, look what I said, y'all. When, when they would capture the children of Israel captivity. They will share some stuff to the children of Israel in other languages that Israel would not understand. And that was a sign to Israel. We must be in because God is speaking to us in a language we don't understand. If you won't listen to me, once again, the prophet, then God will use what y'all? Foreigners. So if you don't want to listen, I'll raise up people that uh, watch this. Foreigners speaking some strange sounding language to teach you a lesson. Watch this. The language that you don't know mm. will be the language that brings judgment to you. Jesus, wow. See, this is a part about the gift of tongues we don't teach you. So you go instantly go. <laughs> and I can't teach you that deep level without understanding biblical truth from tongues. Watch this shit. All right, y'all ready? <laughs> yes. Now let's go to New Testament. Step into 1 Corinthians 14, 22. Here you go. Watch so, this now. So you see that speaking in tongues is a sign. <laughs> uh oh. Not for believers, but for unbelievers. Prophecy, however, is for the benefit of believers, not unbelievers. See, speaking in tongues is a. <laughs> Mom, D, I got enough time. I'm good. It's a sign. <laughs> Y'all minds look like. Okay, Pastor, you for real going a whole nother way. I am. It's a sign not for believers, but for unbelievers. So you think your tongues is for them when this scripture says the sign is for the unbeliever. Sign, direction, clarity, GPS, sign. <laughs> Without a sign, I don't know where I'm. So that means, uh-oh, y'all ready? If my, watch this. 
If my sign is wrong, my tongue is wrong, then people will follow me wrong. And maybe the church don't got followers because their signs ain't correct in our language. This is some good teaching by the Holy Ghost. You, right choice. So you see the speaking in tongues is a sign. Not for who? Believers. So you tried to be deep for the believers. <laughs> so you tried to roll that boat. You tried to whip that nay nay and you still did it for the wrong people. Got a little bit. I, I, I like to make you. I know it, it, it's going to get a lot. And we probably got about, about 40 minutes left. Y'all right? Yeah. The whip nay y'all crazy though. <laughs> right? Uh-oh. Y'all know we like to do translation around here. Translation is our cousin, and we will use them. Go to another translation. Amen. Amen. amen, amen. Watch what this says, Mama D. So then the gift of speaking in strange tongues is proof for unbelievers, not for believers, while the gift of proclaiming God's message is proof for believers, not for unbelievers. So you, 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 um, it said in this one, strange tongues, not tongue, tongues. How many tongues you got in your mouth? One. Why don't say tongue then? Because we have locked you in the one tongue. Now, if you physically got more than one tongue, we got to have some conversation. And there's multiple hospitals around. And I promise you, we'll get you there quick. And I'll even have a PPA stay with you. Because you're going to need it if you got more than two now. That's some animal type stuff. Praise the Lord. I'm just saying, though. <laughs> Men, would y'all stay with them? Because they're going to need you. Amen. Praise God. All right, let's go. Y'all ready? So then, speaking in strange tongues is a proof. So now this one don't say sign. It says proof. For who though? Unbelievers. Mm. Mm. We think if I don't speak in tongues, I can't prove to them that I'm deep. <laughs> uh oh. I heard some of y'all say it, Erica. If I don't do this, then I really ain't got the Holy Ghost. This says that the signs is a proof for the who? Unbelievers. Not for the believers. All right, our other cousin, TLB. Come on, <laughs> dog. Word, we're using this thing tonight. Come on, dog. You're being good too, girl. Come watch this now. <laughs> so you see that being able to speak in tongues is not a sign for God's children concerning his power. Read that one more time. <laughs> so you see that being able to speak in tongues is not a sign. To not God. a GPS, not a billboard. To, to who, daughter? God's children mm, keep concerning going. his power. But a sign to the unsaved. However, prophecy preaching the deep truths of God is what the Christians need, and unbelievers aren't yet ready for it. And we'll deal with that. But it says, Pastor Toy, speaking in tongues is not a sign for God or to God's children. concerning his power. But it's a sign for the unsaved. Social media, come on. For the who, y'all? Can I use one more translation? Thug <laughs> Passion. You know I'm going to use him. Watch what, the, watch what Park say. Watch this now. Watch. So then, tongues are not a sign for believers, uh -oh. but a miracle for oh. unbelievers. <laughs> Prophecy, on the <laughs> other hand, is not for unbelievers, but a miracle <clears throat> sign for believers. Sign proof. Yeah, Mama D, wait a minute. <laughs> this one says, but a miracle. Maybe we don't see miracles because the signs are off. Just through language. Because we think gift of tongues go straight to God. And there's levels, different kinds. This said, this, this said, this is a sign. Right, y'all? We saw a lot. This is a sign. This is a sign. Now, comparing these three scriptures, we see God using tongues as a what, y'all? Sign. It was meant, I told you, as a prophetic sign. He go to the deep part. For the unbelieving Jews. I want you to catch this. It was a sign for the who? Y'all scared to say it or something? Y'all right, amen. It was a sign for who? 
Unbelieving Jews. I told you, it was a sign of judgment. And it also was a call or a sign or a sound or a noise to get back on God's path. So God will use language to get you back in the right direction. See, you only been taught like I've been taught. Tongues unto God, which is true. But when he said there are signs, you got to do the historical studies to understand what the word sign means tonight. Now, the prophet Joel, go ahead, daughter, I think it's on there, baby. Joel told me, we quoted all the time. What it says? <laughs> and afterwards, I will pour out my spirit, spirit on all on people. flesh. My bad, I'm just preaching. It's <laughs> your sons and daughters will prophesy. Uh, uh, yeah, Troy, come on, Troy. You know I've got one in me for you, baby. <laughs> yes. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Oh, yeah. Come on, my bad. <laughs> Your old men will dream dreams. See them, see them, see them. My bad. I felt, <laughs> felt that way. Come on, Troy. I'm Your sorry, young don't. men will see visions. <laughs> even, on, <laughs> even on my servants, <clears throat> both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. On my what? Servants. Men and women. This is Old Testament. I will pour out my spirit in those days. Mm. I'm going to show you what this scripture is prophetically fulfilled with signs. Can I, I, I get a little more time? Yeah. It's a lot. I want you to rush this surgery. because You can go home and just uh, mind blow out the frame. <laughs> if you need a, a migraine pill, I'll pray for you. The Jews, <laughs> watch this, were special to God. I want you to hear that. But they kept going back and forth with their relationship. You hear me? So I'm for to show you Jews connected to signs. You ready? First Corinthians chapter 1, 22. Watch what it says. It's going to be so clear. Uh-oh, there it goes spaghetti. Oh. For Jews request a sign. Request a what? Sign. And Greeks seek after wisdom. For a Jew request a Mm. This New Testament Re request a Sign. a direction of something for us unbelievable. I need to see a, a sign, a, a proof. I need to see Joel 2 come upon a man. I need to see it in order to become it. Like many of y'all needs a sign. All right, another translation. NIV, watch what this one says. Jews demand signs and Greeks look for wisdom. So they request, now you demanding a sign. Mm. Even though God has been with your generation, you still demanding proof. Jesus. Now we just, uh, Jesus. hope your mind still, I hope I ain't left you. Another translation. I just want to help you tonight. We almost do. It seems foolish to the Jews because they want a sign from heaven as proof that what is preached is true. And it is foolish to the Gentiles because they believe only what agrees with their philosophy and seems wise to them. So now the Jews say, I need a sign from heaven. Give me proof. I need, I, I, I need to know it's from heaven. Mm. But a Jew is looking for a... All right, NCV translation. Watch this now. <clears throat> the Jews asked for miracles, and the Greeks want wisdom. Remember, we went back, and I went down all signs, proof. Same words. Yeah. Signs, proof. Now the Jews ask for? Miracles. Mm. Asking for something when you saw it all. Mm. Sound like the modern-day church to me. Yeah. And the Jews ask for? Not miracle, miracles with a, because miracles is translated sometime tongues with a, so it couldn't say tongue and then say tongues and then say miracles because then that mean the teaching is off. So it said tongues, then it said miracles because sometimes the Jews look for not just a tongue, they're looking for miracles in the form of a sign. All right, that's New Testament. What pastor showed me, John chapter 6. I'm going to go a little deeper then. John chapter 6. Come on, 
They answered, show us a miraculous sign if you want us to believe in you. Pause. Show us a a miraculous sign if you want us to believe in you. But remember, signs was connected to language. So they were saying right here to Shami, show us a miracle. Watch this in your language. Because if I see the language well, then I can believe you. This has nothing to do with the tongues unto God yet. This all mean tongues as a sign. Show us miraculous signs. If you, this is, this is, look at the context. If you want me, if you want us to believe you, who you think you is? What can you do? Disrespectful with your signs. Your request was infected because you didn't really want to know the truth. Because you already know it. Generational, you've been taught, Jews. After all, go ahead, daughter. Our ancestors ate manna while they journeyed through the wilderness. The scriptures say Moses gave them bread from heaven to eat. He, he's saying this. John is saying um, the, the Old Testament got proof. The New Testament Jews said give us proof. Because after all, our what, y'all? Ate what? Manna. While they were what? Journey. That was a sign. They saw that. This is deep now. Keep going. Next one, daughter. Watch this now. Another translation. They replied, you must show us more miracles if you want us to believe you are the Messiah. Wow. Give us free bread every day. Wow. (laughs) Disrespectful. (laughs) Like our fathers had while they journeyed through the wilderness. As the scriptures say, Moses gave them bread from heaven. Disrespectful with the request. You must show us more miracles, more signs, more languages if you want us to believe you are the Messiah. So I got to keep showing you who I really am. History should have told you that. Watch this. Give us what, y'all? Free Free bread. What? Every day. Like you, our fathers had. So because you did it for them, then do the same for us. But the honor is different, which affects your language. And that's why culture got a language. (laughs) Woo, through the wilderness, as the scripture says, Moses gave them bread from when, y'all? Heaven. They said, you must show us. Now you you show us. You must show us a sign. Mm -hmm. TPT, watch what it says. They replied, show us a miracle so we can see it, and then we'll believe in you. Moses took care of our ancestors who were fed by the miracle of manna every day in the desert. Just like the scripture says, he fed them with bread from heaven. What sign will you perform for us? Church crazy. Show us a miracle so we can see it. I already saw it, but I got to show you. Watch this. Your family didn't tell you what I've done? Mm. Come on. Well, I got to prove to you. Yeah. But most Jews request and demand signs. Mm. So he's talking to a Jewish co- This is deep. And then we'll believe in you. So if you don't show me, I won't believe. I got to slide a question in. Who's hurt? Because he ain't. Right, right. Well, right, brother Jay, they, they said it well. Well, if you don't show me, I won't believe in you. Jesus probably said, and that's on you. Mm. Matthew chapter 20, verse, verse 3. We almost do. Later, when they arrived at the Mount of Olives, watch this. His disciples came privately to where he was sitting and said, Tell us, when will these things happen? And what signs should we expect to signal our coming and the completion of this age? These snooker woos are still asking for signs. <laughs> they un- they un- walk with him, they un- chill with him, and you want to get to the end of my life huh? and still ask for signs? You ungrateful people. Yeah. You've been walking with me, but I still got to show you signs. 
Look what he says later when they arrived to the Mount of what, y'all? Crushing. His disciples, not Paul's disciples, not Peter's disciples, Jesus' disciples came privately. What they say? Privately to where he was sitting. So they came into his room and they said, look what the joker said. Tell who? Us. So now y'all all say it at the same time. Tell us, man. Just tell us. <laughs> tell, t- tell us. When will things happen? Jesus like, I've been telling y'all. The last 33 and a half years. Mm, Jesus. But because you always want a sign, yeah, yeah. you misinterpret revelation. Jesus. You know how sometimes you'll miss God. I'm for the pause and help about 50 of you right now. Quit asking God for signs. Amen. He showed you. Amen. Is they good for me? They slapped you. That's enough right there. I'm going to park this thing. This thing. Lord, is they for me? They ain't saved. Why you call me, Pastor? He the one? He ain't saved. I might as well go on and whip that thing in the back. And do him choice and park it. She's so cute, though. Do she love Jesus? She go to church. That ain't what I asked you. But Pastor, she, she work a lot. Okay, so that means her job is gone. I, I'm going to leave it right. Because you always want signs. Lord, if it's you, learn the, good, the voice of the Holy Ghost. You wouldn't have to ask for so many signs. See, back in the New Old Testament, they had to ask for signs because the Holy Ghost was not expressed all out. But the New Testament believers, why are you asking for signs when you can just call them up? I need signs. Are you, are you, are you leading me to this church? You don't watch us for four years. That ain't a sign. I was going to step out there. I get it every week. Rev, I've been watching you all year. I'm like, man, praise God. All right. Amen. But I'm just saying, though, I just need one more sign. What sign you need? Man, you speak a word to my heart. Prophets, what else you need? Man, I, I can feel the love through this machine. I'm like, what else you need? Everybody want the spirit of a Jew. You just want signs. Modern day church. Said he going to your bathroom saying, Lord. Give me clear direction. Amen. You said, Lord, let me get in there. And if the boss got on black and red socks, <laughs> that's a word for me, Lord. And the devil heard you, so they put on rock and bled socks. And you leave it and say, that's the Lord. And it wasn't the Lord, but you thought because it was red and black socks that the Lord, you don't think the devil heard the request? Right. The spirit of a Jew. Now, this is Matthew 24. Jesus kind of, you know, coming home on the exit. Tell us, when would these things happen? And what, what, y'all? Why you keep asking for this? What sign should we expect to signal your... So now you're connecting a sign to my coming. When I told you, don't nobody know, even me, when I'm here. So I can't give you a sign. As long as I stay here, I don't know. Oh, this is good tonight. And the completion of this age. So you want a sign for the end and the completion. But do you want it all through what, y'all? All right, Jesus says something. This is called the Great Commission. We all do the Great Commission for Matthew. Look what Mark say. Uh, how many Gospels is it? Four. Amen. Praise the Lord. What is it? All right, Amen. Now, who won a part of the original crew? Mark, come on, y'all should know this. Come on, come on, y'all should know this. Thank you, amen, son. So he saved y'all, praise the Lord. Mark, Mark was a little dude. Mark was not a part of the original go- uh, disciples. So he got too young to roll, son, too young to roll. Tried to, run, look, tried to roll a young whippersnapper, but he couldn't roll. But ain't it deep, though? He won a part of the original, but still got one book in the Bible. See, that's why I'm going to pause right here. See, you thought you was overlooked. No, you weren't overlooked. You was the right one. That's a whole other story. I can, we can teach this thing. Now, Jesus said, okay, I, this is after the resurrection. He dropped one more word on us. Keep going. Now, this is Jesus. 
And these, go ahead, daughter. Signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak in new tongues. Now, we said all times. And they will accompany uh, those who believe. Uh, they will rise up. Yeah, all of that. We will cast out a devil. Uh, and they will speak in new tongues. And we, and we say it. And we say it. And we don't understand what he meant. They will rise up. Uh, and we've been saying it, y'all. And we're connecting that with the wrong type of tongue. Speak. And then it say new tongues. New mean these are some tongues you ain't never spoken in. This is the first time you see new in front of tongues. <laughs> y'all good? Yes. Amen. Y'all a good class. Speaking new what, y'all? Because uh -huh. mm. how the tongues going to say the same when I gave you access to the country now? Oh, it got to be new yes. tongues. <laughs> oh, go to TLB. Y'all know we I'm almost through. Amen. Amen. And those who believe shall use my authority to cast out demons, and they shall speak new languages. New what? Language. I told you tongue is sometimes translated Language. languages. So he says, watch this, and you will know those that are with me. Those shall have authority to cast out demons, but also those that speak in new Language. languages. Yes. Right? Somebody find the scripture real quick in the New Living, real quick, in TPT. I don't want to call my daughter. Amen. I want to add it on. New Living real quick. Amen. And TPT. If you got the New Living, go on and preach that thing. Come on, help Reverend out. Come on. Amen. Same scripture. Mark chapter 6, verse 16 through 17. We're going to go through 18, though. New, anybody got it? Anybody got it? NLT. 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 Anybody got it? Help me, y'all. Social media. Help me, y'all. <coughs> help the Thank you, Sister Terry. Somebody help me, y'all. Help the Reverend. Now, go ahead. You got that thing. Come on. She got it right here, Sister Terry. Mark she, 16, the microphone. 17, My girl. NLT. Watch what it says. These miraculous signs. These miraculous what? Signs. Here go that word miraculous with signs again. Watch what it says. Come on. Will accompany those. Will accompany, who, which means I'll be cousins with you. This is a proof that I'm with you. Watch what he said. This is Jesus. Before he get up out of here, look what he's saying. Go ahead, daughter. Will accompany those who believe. Oh, who's what? Believe. So we think, if, watch this, that if I ain't doing these other two, then I'm not a believer. Keep going. They will cast out demons in my name. They will cast out what, y'all? Demons. Uh-huh. I, if I wanted to pause here, casting out demons ain't a pastoral thing. It's a church thing. It says, those that will believe shall walk in authority. I messed you up. You scared of that kind of conversation. Keep going. They say, oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. That's you and Pastor Toy's job. No, no, no. I am not called for deliverance ministry. I, I heard your spirit. It hit me. See, my tongue is real. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Go ahead, dog. And they will speak in new languages. They will speak in what? New languages. But he said very clearly, those who believe will speak in new languages. All right, daughter, we can get um, TPT. Whoever got it, TPT. Oh, you got it, daughter? Come on. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you all, family. TPT. And those miracle signs will accompany those who believe. Uh, those who what? Believe. So that means there's a belief, people, Jordan Taylor, and all these things are attached it to, uh, to the believer who believes. What should they do? Go ahead, daughter. They will drive out demons in the power of my name. Uh-huh. They will speak in tongues. They will speak in? Tongues. Or new, speak in what? Languages. languages. Speak in what, y'all? Languages. Now, we see the word new here. Am I correct? We almost do. Give me time. In the Greek language, for this text, it's the word kananos. K-A-I-N-O-S. That word means Terry Fresh. Because how you going to speak in an old language when I just died to give you access to a new language? It also means that which is uncustom, that which is unused. So there's a language available that the church ain't using. Thus, the word new used in this proper context, Mark chapter 6, verse 17 through 18, refers to new and different. Not in the sense that the languages had never been heard before. I want you to catch this. Or that they were new to the hearers, but they were new to the speakers. 
and to those speaking in the language. So they was not new languages under the people. They was new language to the speakers of the language. <laughs> ah, it's about to get good and we about to get up out of here. Language is a sign to communicate with Jews in Israel. Because they always ask for sign. Jesus states there are different type of signs that will accompany you with my belief system. Cast out devils, right? Mark chapter 16. Jesus, Mama D, a commission. Is sent, this is a commission to the disciples that there is something that will take place shortly. Watch this. And one of the particular things that will take place, new language would be upon the speakers that share. And I want to connect the dots of different kind of tongues in Mark chapter 16 in one format. This particular scripture has been misinterpreted for years, what I'm about to share with you tonight. And we connect this title, but we're being filled with the Holy Spirit. So what we interpreted, we connect it with being filled with the Holy Ghost. And ultimately, it affects our own manifestation of tongues. Now, we're going to look into Acts chapter 2, and we're going to go 18 verses. I'm going to systematically teach you how many people have used this scripture misinterpreted. And right now, some of you will be free because somebody told you that you didn't speak in tongues and they used this scripture. which had nothing to do. I'm about to show you with the gift unto God. It was a sign for the Jews. Watch this now. Now, the Jewish man will have to come to Jerusalem for three, separation, three, three celebrations, I'm sorry, a year. Pentecost was one of them. Pentecost occurred 50 days after Passover. Pentecost was an annual Jewish festival known as the Feast of Weeks or the day of first fruit of the celebration for the fruit of the harvest. I know churches name their churches called Pentecost. And we connect it to this. And Pentecost is a festival. Another story there. Jewish men were required, uh-oh, Jordan, here we go, Pastor Toy, by law to go to the celebration three times. Men had to go. To the celebration, three times a year. In the Old Testament, uh-oh, y'all hearing this. Pentecost occurred 50 days, Mama D, after Israel left Egypt. And the Passover lamb was slain. So after they left Egypt, we heard about it. Passover, they went past the door. Passover is 50 days from that is where we get Pentecost from. Number 50, we call it nickel. We call it that. So the New Testament Pentecost occurred, I'm teaching y'all something real good tonight, 50 days after Christ rose from the dead. So whenever Jesus rose, because the Lord being our Passover lamb, from that day forward, 50 days, come Pentecost. So nothing changed in the New Testament that Jesus did not fulfill in the Old Testament. Because if he did not fulfill it in the Old Testament, then the Old Testament went obsolete and without no change, without no shift. You better catch what I'm teaching you tonight. This might be too much, but I ain't going to all breaks at the rest of the year. Your mind going to have to catch up. You're going to have to learn. And I'm trying to get you to a capacity where we're teaching you. You have the capacity. Now, it can stay there, but I want you to become what I'm trying to teach you tonight. Because some of y'all have been caught up in this particular scripture. Watch. And I took my time. Now, the Old Testament celebration, Mama D, was the birthing of the nation of Israel. In the New Testament, it was the birthing of the church. Y'all see it, family? Jews visiting from outside of Judah lost the understanding of the Hebrew Aramaic festival. The harvest feast of Pentecost brought together thousands of Jews. Uh-oh, we're about to go down to Tiro. Watch this now. Including converts from Judaism. From all over the Roman Empire, there were many nations at Pentecost, crowds and crowds of people, unbelievers after unbelievers. Because remember, signs and tongues is for unbelieving Jews. Language. All right. 
Let's go Acts chapter 1. We're going to go one by one, daughter. Just flow with daddy, all right? Verse by verse. Y'all ready? This is what we all go to, right? This is the reference uh, that they use to get you filled with the Holy Ghost uh, right here. Now, can I help you tonight? Give me 10 more minutes. Work this thing like a Jetson and we get up out of here. I know there's some questions in here tonight. On the day. Go ahead, daughter. Preach that thing for daddy. (laughs) On the day of Pentecost. On the day of what? Pentecost. I told you the festival, the feast where men had to go. Thousands was gathered. Thousands of Jews, converts, thousands of Jews were gathered at this particular feast. Keep going. Was being fulfilled. Was being what? Fulfilled. Because Pentecost is not a New Testament thing. It's an Old Testament thing. They've been doing Pentecost, y'all. I'm amazed how Pentecost we dress all white. (laughs) Nothing wrong with it. But we'll try it. (laughs) But you will know the truth behind Pentecost. Because you got all white. But you're missing. It's the harvest season. Amen. Another story. We'll get back to it for you, daughter. Watch this now. On the day of Pentecost, on the day of 50, remember 50 days after Passover, it was being what? Fulfilled. Here you go. All the disciples were gathered in one place. All in one place. All these people come here three times a year. Thousands upon thousands of people. Watch this. Verse 2. Suddenly they heard the sound of a violent blast of wind Mm -hmm. rushing into the house from out of the heavenly realm. Uh The roar of the wind was so overpowering, it was all anyone could bear. Now remember in Matthew, Jesus said, go to the upper room, stay there. So the disciples, remember he told 500 people how many people came. 120. So 380 people missed it. Mm. I wonder how many people are going to miss God this year. Because you're looking for signs. Now, it's real deep. I want me to help you tonight. Because when we get to the, the whole theology of the tabernacle, there was things outside of the tabernacle called pin downs. Now, it's deep because, watch this, when Moses and them built the tabernacle in the temple, watch this, it's deep right here, Jennifer. It was 120 pin downs. Because if you're going to start anything, you start with 120. And if you're going to start anything, you start taking the zero off with what? 12. I t- <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, 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 uh, it's too much for you? Don't, don't sit on that revelation now. Don't sit on it now. Y'all know I, I, I've been new. No, you didn't. You ain't been know that. Don't lie. Don't lie to yourself. I'm trying to help you tonight. I gave you that for free. If you're going to start anything, you start with. If you're going to hold down God's glory, all I need is one. But, but I need 120. So it was prophetic that 380 missed it. Another thing is, ain't it crazy that everybody heard the call, but everybody didn't pick up? Because listening ain't the same thing as hearing. I've been trying to tell you that. Yes. Suddenly they heard a sound, a, a, a sound of a violent blast of wind rushing into the house uh-huh. from out of the heavenly realm. Upstairs. <laughs> Some was taking place. Mm. Mm. Remember, they just asked for signs. The roaring of the wind was what y'all overpowering. Well, overpowering. It was what y'all all, everyone could what? Bear. Bear. Go ahead, number three, daughter. Watch this now. Then all at once, a pillar of fire appeared before their eyes. Uh-oh. <laughs> Keep going. It separated into tongues of fire that engulfed each one of them. Remember we read that? So they, all these people obey God. 120. Ready. See, we think Pentecost... And we missed it. Watch this. They up there, prophet, and something take place. You ask for a sign, I'll give it to you. But in tor- watch this. Before I give you the sign, I need you to get in a place where I can fulfill it. Jesus. Then all at once, a pillar of fire appeared before their eyes. It separated into tongues of fire. Remember I told you the Greek word there. That means that there was a fire over the, the heads the disciples verse 3 watch this now verse 4 I'm sorry thank you they were all filled and equipped with the Holy Spirit here you go and were inspired to speak in tongues <sighs> empowered by the spirit to speak in languages that they have never right there. learned here goes the verse that some of you been in bondage your whole life and they told you 
when you spoke in tongues, when you got filled with the Holy Ghost, you should have spoken in tongues. Am I right? Yeah. Raise your hand if they told you this. Raise your hand if they used this scripture. Because you do know, watch this, choice. This is going to bless you tonight. Even though you got a gun, you can use it incorrectly. Come on. That's good. So a lot of you watching my live stream have not understood the totality of God's presence. Only because you had a leader that shot so shortly. This verse, and they were all filled and equipped with the who? Holy Spirit. And inspired to speak in tongues. And right here we think. We're talking about tongues unto God. Mm. And that's why some of y'all, y'all getting free though. I see freedom on you. Now, if you stay bound after the night, don't lock yourself up. Because I ain't got nothing. I'm giving you everything I got. I'm giving you the best as the old side. You better catch what I'm trying to help you with tonight. Inspired to speak in tongues. Empowered by this. Y'all ain't even catching it. Daughter, read it one more time. It's using the same words I've been using all night. Watch the scripture, y'all. Go they, ahead, daughter. They were all filled and equipped with the uh -huh. Holy Spirit and were inspired to speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Now, what's another word for tongues? Language. In the same sentence. Keep going, daughter. Empowered by the Spirit to, to speak, speak in, in languages they had never learned. So, you asked for a sign, but I go sign through languages. I got you all in this room. And the Holy Ghost comes upon you and you begin to speak in a language you have never learned. And we've been taught that they're talking about tongues unto God. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that is the wrong interpretation of the scripture. Because you cannot interpret one verse with one verse. Jesus. It's called pretext, text, context. Mm -hmm. All right. They have never learned. So this is the verse, right, y'all? Everybody like, yeah. So that prophet said, pastor said, come up here. Give your life to the Lord. And when, you, when that Holy Ghost feel you, you're going to speak in tongues and evidence. And you come up there saying, and you look down the road and everybody's speaking in tongues. And you like, did I miss something? So you said, well, it's hot in here. They said, and then they said, yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. No, I ain't got it. I'm sleepy and I'm hungry and I faked it. And most times, when the church do that, that's how they got it. <laughs> so they only can teach you what they taught about themselves. But that verse right there, then they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they were spoken tongues as the Spirit of God and gave them utterance. And you were like, yeah! Verse 5, watch this. Now at that time, there were Jewish worshipers. It was what? Jewish we worship. talking about J Jewish people. I told you they was there. Now at this time they were what? Jewish. Keep going, daughter. Who had immigrated from many different lands to live in Jerusalem? So many different lands, many different Jews had to come meet here. And God said, "You want a sign? I need the crowd to be big enough." Because <laughs> remember, the sign wasn't for the believers, from the unbelieving. Jew. So there was many Jews that was at the meeting that really wasn't connected to him, even though they was at the meeting. Like some of y'all be at church, but you really not at church. And uh, 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 y'all ready to get down? Uh, verse six. We just gonna work the text. I'm about to get up out here like the Jeffersons. Come on now. When we the people of the city heard the roaring sound, crowds came running to where it was coming uh -huh. from, stunned over what was happening because <laughs> each one could hear the disciples speaking in his or her own language. Remember, I told you the word language mean noise. Remember? Read verse 6 again, daughter. We, I, I, give me 10 more minutes. I want y'all to get this. So heavy, y'all. When the people of the city, go ahead, daughter. Heard the roaring sound. Noise. Mm. There was a noise going on. Yeah. It was a language mm. that sounds a little bit different. Jesus. Watch this. Crowds came. What, daughter? Running to where it was coming from. When are we going to make a sound where the unbeliever can run the church? When are we going to release a sound where they scared to live? Most unbelievers come to church on New Year's. Put mine in the air. May the Lord protect me and thee and my family. And we don't hear from you again. Nothing wrong with you. I just want to see you. 
That's all we love you. Am I right? But they ran because I told you our choice uh, sounds dictate moves of God. What if I told you languages can dictate it too? Watch what it says. <laughs> Stunned right here, daughter. Stunned over what was happening uh -huh. because each one could hear the disciples speaking in his or her own language. That's weird to me because God dropped himself on these people and they speaking in a language that's totally different than the Jew that's hearing it. <laughs> Y'all gonna be so set free. Verse seven. Bewildered, uh -huh. they said to one another, uh -oh. aren't these all ga Galileans? So now they shift. They sound, they, they gotta be with them G people, them Galileans, they, they language sound a little different. But remember, you wanted a sign. So how is it that we hear them speaking in our own languages? How you speak in my language, you ain't never been taught it. This is, we ain't talking about the gods yet, y'all. How you know my language? You ain't never been to my country. How is these people speaking Swahili never been there? How are they speaking this? And they never, I know I ain't tripping. I, you ain't never been there, but you sound like me. All right. Verse 8, 9. We are northeastern Iranians, uh -huh. northwestern Iranians. Here you go. Elamites mm -hmm. and those Mesopotamia, Judea, yep. East Central <laughs> Turkey, the coastal areas of the Black Sea, Asia, yep. North Central Turkey, yeah. Southern Turkey, Egypt, Libyans, who are mm. neighbors of Cyrene, mm. visitors from all over the Roman Empire, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. All right, keep Arabs. going. He's telling you, watch this. Yet. Yet we hear them speaking of God's mighty wonders in our own dialects. That's 18 different languages. That's what he meant about the scripture being filled and they spoke in new. Did, did he say anything unto God? No. He's talking about language that has not been learned yet. Because the Jews needed a sign through language. And God said, you want a sign? I'll give you the sign when there's enough people. And he knew Pentecost brought a lot of unbelieving Jews there. And he breathed upon them. Because remember, is that when, the, watch this y'all, when God breathed upon language, it's a judgment upon them that you've been hard-headed. He gave you eight, go back, daughters. You ain't got to read them all. He gave you all these different languages. Verse 11, boom. Yet, yet we hear them speaking of God's mighty wonders in our own dialect. In our own dialect. How in the world all these people, these disciples, this 120, are speaking in language that sound like mine? New tongues. Verse 12. They all stood there, dumbfounded and astonished. Watch this, Carl. Saying to one another, what is this phenomenon? This is crazy. Because the languages are clear. This has nothing to do with your Rusakaya. This has nothing to do with that. And you've been taught and locked you in to this verse that was incorrectly because the pastor didn't teach the proper context. And you, as well as me, and you watching my live stream, will not even let God float through you because you locked in to a misinterpretation of Scripture. We heard nothing unto God. Uh, they all stood dumbfounded and was astonished, saying, what, what, this is a phenomenon. Verse 13, daughter. But others poke fun at them and said, they're just drunk on new wine. See, because they didn't understand it. Now they're going to misinterpret it. They just drunk. The same ones that wanted a sign got a sign, but now you need more signs, and now you call me drunk to get a sign. It's, it reminds me of your cousin when you go tell them how you spoke in tongues, and they say, no, nah, you just had a one-time experience. You... Or your grandma that you speak in tongues, and she said, it don't take all that. 
or you go to a church home and, and you can begin to speak in tongues and they shut you down because they don't know what it is. So they call it the devil. They call it evil. Yeah. Yeah. And really, I'm speaking to this, which means, Carl, that God can take all of us over to a country, yes. come up on your language, yeah. and you can learn it. Yeah. That's what he meant by Mark 16. Those should accompany those who believe, cast out devil. You should speak in new or tongues. They poke fun at them. Go verse 14. We got a couple of verses. We're done. Peter stood up with the 11 apostles and shouted to the crowd. Uh -huh. Listen carefully. My fellow Jews and residents. My fellow who? Jews. I told you, them people that need that sign. Keep going. And residents of uh -huh. Jerusalem. You need to. You need to clearly understand what's happening here. You need to clearly understand what's happening here. 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 Keep going. These people are not drunk like you think they are, for it is only 9 o'clock in the morning. Keep going. This is the fulfillment of what was prophesied through the prophet Joel, for God says. Remember Joel said, chapter 2. Remember? The last days, <laughs> she pour out my flesh. We prophesied and we always connected to speaking unto God. When the first level of tongues is the signs of the changing of your language. Jesus. This is a what? Fulfillment, Fulfillment of what was prophesied through the prophet Joel. Keep going. This is what I will do in the last days. I will pour out my spirit on everybody and cause your sons and daughters to prophesy. Uh -huh. And your young men will see visions mm -hmm. and your old men will experience dreams from Verse God. Verse 18, we through with this thing. The Holy Spirit will come upon all my servants, men and women alike, and they will prophesy. So God, play some music as we transition. God gave the Jews a sign like they wanted. He shifted their language but we've been taught that because it says feel with the holy spirit and the evidence of speaking in tongues we instantly think we're talking about tongues unto god yeah. when they were talking about languages of multiple levels 18 different languages that were spoken and people said you know how you speak my language you ain't never been here how you know you ain't never been here so the real miracle of a believer is for you to go to another country and speak their language without learning. That's a part of speaking in tongues. <laughs> oh, doo -doo. Man down. Remember he said, there's different kinds of, different choice kinds of how many tongues was it? 18. And they were all. Does it make sense? And speaking in tongues was a sign to the Jews and the unbelievers. So the use of tongues where the utterance is not understood by the speaker, but overheard by the members of the public and without interpretation, understand by those who own language. That's why they ask, how is it that each other one hear in our own native language? Because they ask for a tongue, and that's why God did a miracle in the book of Acts. Now it's powerful, because remember, Pentecost is also the first fruit or the feast of weeks or the feast of harvest. How many people got saved during Peter's preaching? Three because ain't no way you can pick up a natural harvest and don't scoop up a... So when we do Pentecost, we do Pentecost from the trajectory of the truth of it, not just with tongues. And I pray tonight on part one, next week I'll deal with gifts of the tongues, how to do it privately and how to do it publicly. Now we'll shift tongues unto God. But the first signs were tongues unto man. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Amen, son. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and for some of you, like, I really don't care. Well, keep on speaking in tongues. 
immaturely without no truth. And I hope some of you that's been told that lie. Go to verse 3 again, daughter. That they were filled with the Holy Ghost. And they begin to speak. Go next one, daughter. Verse 4. Watch this. And they begin to speak. We, we use this verse, verse 2 and 4, to keep kingdom people in bondage. Because remember, there was a lot of unbelieving Jews. And signs wasn't for the believers, it was for the... So that's why, if you keep reading, Peter preached. And a lot of them got saved. Because they believed the sign. And remember they said, if you show me, then I'll follow you. If you do this, then I'll, I'll believe you as Messiah. So he said, I'll play your games. But I need you to get in one place. And since all of y'all around the world been asking for the sign, I'll withhold it until Pentecost. And they gathered. And God blew on choice on their tongues. So when Peter preached, 3,000 people plus got saved. We ain't saw an altar call like that in America since Billy Graham. And it had nothing to do with tongues unto God. And I'm sorry, and I repent as a clergy, for us telling you that. And you was bound to that. And that messed you up. Now I can teach you, and I may add it, how there's many people in the, in the book of Acts that were filled with the Holy Ghost and the people would say, watch this, did you speak in tongues? Or do you got the Holy Ghost? Because we always, we always connect, Carl, Holy Ghost and tongues. But there's many people in the New Testament, in the book of Acts, that had the Holy Ghost, Terry, they never spoke in tongues. So if that's the case, see the misinterpretation? See why important doctrine is? And I'm saying this, I, I hope you understand the labor of my labor for the word for you, my wife. And I don't need you to clap, but I hope you understand that how much we labor in the word for you so that your diet can stay very healthy. My mind is framed right, Jordan, because I've studied all week long for you so that you won't be stuck in a lie. Do you understand the warfare that comes with strong doctrine? Don't clap, please don't. It's a lot. Because y'all get it all the time. There's people like your cousin, like your mama, like your auntie that are still bound. And they have, can't even encounter God. Because years ago a church told them, if they don't speak in tongues, they ain't got the Holy Ghost. And that's a lie from the pit of hell. Now I hope tonight, I know I went over but I wanted you to get it tonight. The reason why this is part one, signs. Because Jesus says, they shall accompany those who believe. They shall cast out devil, and they shall speak in new. Were those new, Jordan? They was new. I never heard about it. Another translation says, prophet, how did they speak in my native language? They ain't even from my country because God had breathed on their language as they requested. And next Thursday we'll attack. We'll deal with very deeply. And if it's too much, I'll have to turn it to just private and then deal with public. Because private tongues is very different than public tongues. So I don't want you to be, you know, go to a church or, or here and be like, ah, what I'm doing? Some of y'all got the gift of interpretation. You don't even know it got it. Because you can't even use your gift because you've been around a lie. So how your gift going to work? When you don't know what real tongues is, how you going to interpret it? You don't know what it is. Does it make sense? Right? I was a part of that y'all too. I, y'all like, I, I was with y'all. I just said, uh-uh. I can't pass in English. No. But I was y'all. They told me the same thing. Oh, yeah. We got a young one, get him. Had me and my boy Mike, be on them. We over there going crazy. I mean, they told my, I don't want to be telling the particular church. It was the bomb at Grand Rapids. They told one of my partners, you ain't, something ain't right with you. Let me bring you to the back. 
because my boy Mike didn't say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. They pulled him to the back, choice, and tried to make him speak in tongues. And my boy said, that ain't how that go, because my boy knew the scripture. This is what they told him. You going to get up out of here. You too hard-headed. And I never say the church name. Some of y'all the same way. So tonight, this had nothing to do with speaking on tongues unto God. This was tongues unto God. So if y'all travel with us, we go to another country. And if I'm praying God, anoint our tongues. Now you'll know what I mean. Does that make sense? Let's give God praise tonight. <laughs> Woo, I'm fried, boy. Prof, you may got to drive home, girl. I can't think right. My brain hurt. Hey, man. Ooh, I take a woo side. That's a lot. I ain't going to lie to you. That's a lot to teach. Ah, did you really get something? Yeah. Social media, did you get something? I know y'all skating in. Because everybody want to know about them tongues. We probably going to have a lot of people on this. Watch this. They're going to watch it later, though. Because you know, I don't want to say that. You, 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 I was about to say something. I ain't going to say it. I'm going to be holy and righteous. Amen. <laughs> y'all all right? Let's give God one more praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. hallelujah! I said hallelujah. hallelujah. All right, um, I'm gonna do some QA. Prop, you can help me out. Um, if there's no QA, give me the thumbs up. We're gonna let them go. Um, if you gotta go, God bless you. Uh, but I want to make sure you got it tonight. Did you really learn tonight? Was it a lot? Yeah. <laughs> Daughter said yes. Was it a lot? Okay, amen. Y'all rather have. Okay. Amen. Huh? We got five questions? Oh, amen. Pray about saying, oh, Jesus. <laughs> they starting off good, dog. <laughs> All right, baby. Let's go. So any questions in here tonight? Um, Jesus, thank you, sons. Any questions? Y'all should see y'all y'all minds. Pastor, look at their mind. They mind like fried. I'm talking about an egg, bacon, egg, cheeseburger on your head. Y'all so fried up. Amen. All right, come on. So much, if there's a question on social media, let us know. If not, we're going to dismiss you. We want you to sow a seed tonight. And uh, come on, daughter. Let's go. We turn uh, down the sound of music. Thank you, baby. Does this gift only show up in, as, a, as a public demonstration? As in like the language? Yeah. Yes. Prime example. Was that public? Yes. That's that, how it goes. That's the only way. It so Remember, because it's for man. It's not for you. So it's always going to be public. Now, I'm not saying God can't have you in, a, in another country. And, and remember, you're speaking their language. They're going to say, how long you been here, Sherry? I just got here. How you know my language is so fluent? Because the Holy Ghost has come up on your tongue. So most likely it is a public expression of that. Think about it. It's going to make so good. Think about signs. Is signs private or public? <laughs> then this is got to be a public one. That's why we get stuck. Good question, daughter, because we think it's tongue unto God. So we think it's private. This one was public. Come on, ask the question. And I hope you got questions for this. So don't, don't, they didn't know anything on me now. Don't ask in like March, because I may not give you the answer. I ain't got it for me. Come on. Um, when I mean private, I mean like, let's say you go to another country yep. and you're ministering one-on-one. -on -one, or you're seeing yes. somebody one-on-one. -on -one, yes. It's not a public, uh, can, it, will, can it show up in that way? But you still got to speak to them though, right? Yes, but is one person versus 120 people. Oh, that, that's a change of question for me, daughter. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that got you, baby. Then yes. That means if you minister into Cancun Cuckoo and he will show you. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Right there. You feel me? Yeah. But it still got to be public with him. Yeah. So it could be one or a thousand. Baby, my back. Daddy must misinterpret your question. For sure. You can. Yes, sir. So you can. So a prime example. We go over to, say, a country. What's his son? Mexico. Mexico. They're my people. Dominicans, they're my people. And I do an altar call. And, and, and Jordan, Danny, you up there? You up there, Sherry? And they come up there and they say, see, no English? And you don't say what? You go, okay, you go right with them? That means God has fell up on us for New Testament type of church. So right there, Sherry, you telling them God's going to heal you, but you're saying it in their language. Now you're going to go back when we eat dinner and say, Dad, I had no clue what I said. You ain't supposed to because you ain't never learned it. The Holy Ghost knew it. Yeah. Does it make sense? Now watch this. Now say if, 
We in Mexico, but there's a Russian there visiting. But they heard about G2G in their tent revival. So now Jordan or Taylor got two Russians and they're married couples. And now while you speak in Mexico, they're speaking Russian. And then you way down here speaking Australia. That means uh, God has rested upon the ministry's tongue. I know that messed y'all up. Because y'all faith ain't there. You're going to go over there to another country. Now, don't try it without asking the Holy Ghost. <laughs> They're going to be like, bro, <laughs> me, me have no clue what you mean here. But do you, does, that, does that help, daughter? Right? Now, when you leave there, now, Jordan and t- Taylor going to be like, um, babe, what did we say? You're going to be way down here saying, what did I say? But it's not for you to understand because you didn't learn it. But the people receiving the ministry are going to say, whatever you said, you said it in my native language. That's the gift of tongues. <laughs> Any other question tonight? Y'all like, that's a crazy type of ministry. That's, that's New Testament type of church. A- anybody else? Oh. That boy brushing them waves. I know it's a deep question. <laughs> that, that, that boy went back on me, Troy. Brother Jay, that boy. Come on, son. You went to the 360. I said, this, this question got to be deep. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Come on, baby. Um, man. Deep teaching, for sure. Um, did the Jews not have faith in a relationship? Yes, some of them, just like us, be around him but still don't believe in him. It's the same thing. Now it's deep because that's why... They say, watch this. You keep asking for a sign. Remember I said, back in the Old Testament, God would use a prophet to speak in the Jewish, in, in the children of Israel language. They would not respond. They would not respect what the prophet was saying. So then God would say, move prophet. I'll bring a whole nation to the children of Israel. But the nation, of Israel, watch it, the other nation would speak in the opposite language than Israel. And that was a sign to Israel that we in trouble. Judgment or we need direction. So when they kept saying, man, what should we do? Remember, they asked the question, Troy. How will we know the end shall come? Remember, they asked the question. Jesus said, you want to know how the end will come? I'll change your language. Hmm. See, language, and I want to get too prophetic. But the reason why you know language is changing in the church, God shifts things by language. And when the leader can't keep up with the language, then we'll slow down the shift. So it's important for us to understand the prophetic language. See, that's why we got to do a whole class on what it means to be a part of a prophetic church. It's not the same. We're not better, but the language ain't the same. So absolutely, son. <laughs> that boy crazy. Does that help? I want to go deeper. That's, that's great. <laughs> okay, son. Anything um, you want to add, prophet? Okay. This is the time. Any, so, any questions? Any questions? Hold on, dog. Let me get them out the way. Cause not, I'm about to. Uh, I'm gonna give them three minutes. Give me that. Boy, uh, uh, let them go. Anybody else? What? Uh, you got another, Carl? Carl, get your questions out. Now, Carl, this is the deep part, and I want to say this, son. You ain't polluted like a lot of us. Is that real, y'all? So you come in this deep for you, but you don't have to unlearn a lot, cause you ain't a part of this foolishness like we were. So for you, son, it's hard for you to get it because it's deep. It's hard for us to get it because we ain't never heard it. So, uh, so it's different. Go ahead, baby. I feel questions in this room tonight. Go ahead. Ask that question. Don't let it out. Don't, don't whatever you want to say. We anointed tonight. And I may. I don't know if I got it. But ask right now. Praise the Lord. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is stuff you've said. Okay. Um, but uh, so speaking on the Jews, because that's sticking out to me more. Okay. Um, were they in a sense or, or a relationship of religiousness? Like, that's all religiousness to follow and actually yeah. sign. Um, we can get real deep to you on the Jew stuff, but I, we don't want to hurt them, prophet. Cool. I don't want to mess y'all up. Just know this. Um, <laughs> okay, Jews Gentiles. remind me of, of a people. You know what the scripture says? This, um, they have a form of godliness, but denying the power. You... You can know of a person, but not know a person. That's how some Jews is. And that's why they, they kept asking for signs. They had heard about all the history of God and still did not have a relationship with God. And that's why they asked the question. They had been around this man their whole life, and they still going to ask, um, well, give us a sign of the end times. He like, you won't walk with me your whole life. 
How you know how, how you ain't catch the signs? I've been telling you. Because they were looking for bigger signs. Is that a form of idol worshiping or different? As Jewish people? Like looking for signs, looking for things, putting. I don't want to get too deep, and probably you can ask. If you don't catch that, you can worship signs. Signs on God giving you the answers. So God is like, now you want me to move through grass, but I move through voices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. Let me see if y'all know your Bible. Who was the person in the Old Testament that had to do signs with fleece? Who? Who? Gideon. I know, I know I heard y'all want it's too, it's a thousand people in here. Gideon. He had, what did he say? Fleece. Let it be wet. Let, he had too many signs. And then God, and God responded. They still, he said, give me another sign. Yeah, yeah. Just like some of y'all. Some of y'all need too many signs because you don't trust. You learn the voice of God. So you, they teach you go with your gut. And your peace in your gut. Why would you go with that? Pepperoni is going to be the response, not God. Does it make sense, though? You got to know the Holy Ghost, right? That's good, not the one you good. caught, not the one you can catch, not the one they threw. I'm talking about the person of the who? Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. It takes time. It takes time. And, and me and my wife said all the time, Carl, we see people that want to hear God like we have. Like, dude, this is 22 years in. But this is the powerful part I want you to hear from two prophetic people. The way we come to God, choice. It's like I'm still learning his voice for the first day. That's good. And I never try to be to the place where I mastered his voice. I don't want to be that cocky. So I approach God, Lord, give me a God listening heart. Yeah. Like when I first didn't have it. And that's why we don't prophesy. Yeah, there's so many people that be, I know you got a word. I got all kind of DMs. The Lord said you got a word for me. I do, but I won't share it. Because my, my gift ain't to be pimped. Right. Amen. That's good. But we don't do that. That's good. Amen? Amen. Does it make sense? We want you to know the Holy Ghost. I know y'all be like, every time you ask me wisdom, what I tell y'all? Ask the who? Holy Ghost. Even though I know the answer, ask the who? Because you ain't going to never blame it on me. Because if you lose that money, you're going to blame it on me. Now, if you make that money, you're going to blame it on God. Uh -uh, Blame it all on him. Amen. If you miss it, you miss it. But I'm going to teach you to learn how the voice of the Holy Ghost. Right? But it's hard to, to know his voice when you do not know his language. <laughs> um, Woo, you go ahead. spoke upon different. Hey, Kyle, Kyle got like five questions. Uh, go ahead, Paul. Get him out. <laughs> just, just the different levels you, yes, you sir, spoke son. on. Is that what you're teaching, teaching us in the upcoming weeks? Or? Yes. When it said different kinds. Yeah. So this kind was signs. Other kinds is private. Gotcha. Other kinds is public. Okay. Other, other kinds is interpretation. Now, um, there's a different level we can teach you when they say pray in the Holy Ghost. You insulate, that's in the school of prayer, but y'all don't want to buy nothing. It's in there. Go get it. Yeah, yeah, y'all, I'm talking, y'all, we out the gate shooting. Y'all want all this. It's right there. 2024, I love you. Uh, we won't be going over like that. It's all there. It's 400 teaching. We thinking a way to show y'all. It's there. It's there. It's there. Yes, yes. Any questions online, daughter? If not, hold up. Y'all want to sow a seed real quick for online. Put it up, daughter. Sow a seed. God bless you. I see you this Sunday. It's going to be off the chain. Uh, now, if you got questions, two-way me. Next, tell me. I'll get with you. Okay. Who else? Come on, daughter. Oh, right here. Right here, daughter. I'm sorry. Boop. Hey, G2G partners and friends. Thank you so much for tuning in to our live stream service. Did you enjoy your time with us today? We pray you received an on-time word that will forever change your life. Our lead pastors, Harold and Atoya Alloway, make it a priority to teach and preach the gospel of kingdom to all people, including you. If this word has impacted you today, feel free to sow a love seed. We believe that giving is an act of worship and is one way to show gratitude to God. Your generosity is appreciated. Stay connected with us as we continue to reach millions worldwide. Go ahead, follow us on social media and hit that notifications button to get alerted when we go live. Again, thank you for taking the time out to join our online service. We can't wait to see you next week. Stay tapped in. God is doing something new.